what's up mi gente welcome to my youtube canal and today i will be doing that q a respiratory video that y'all all been wanting so let's get started so question number one is do you recommend an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree i recommend a bachelor's degree just because you have more opportunity to expand in your field an associate is just a minimum requirement for respiratory therapy to get to be able to get your credentials and work i just feel like you should just go all the way and, and if you want to expand your field or if you want to go to something else it won't be so hard because you already have a bachelor's degree i am currently getting my bachelor's degree at midwestern state university because i want to expand my horizons i want to expand my knowledge i want to expand my profession so i do recommend it to get your bachelor's Question number two, well, is there any other healthcare career that interested you and what made you pursue respiratory therapy? The reason I pursued respiratory therapy was all accidental. I was actually going for MLT and I became a processor, which works right next to MLTs. And I just did not like what I saw. They kind of really don't do, I'm just not going to say they don't do much, but they're, they sit down, they're on the computer, like majority of the day and it just wasn't something that i was interested in um so i was kind of stagnant for a little bit because i did not want to become a nurse and my one of my friends was like why won't you try respiratory therapy they make the same as nurses and they don't have to deal with poop so i applied to the program and i got in and the only reason i did not know what a respiratory therapist did until I got in the program and I was like, oh shit, what did I get myself into? And I didn't think I was going to like it. But then the more I did clinicals and I actually got hands on, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I do recommend it if you don't want to be a nurse and if you don't want to be stuck inside a cubicle. Respiratory therapy where it's at, bro. So question number three was, what is the difference between a respiratory therapist and a nurse? Well, respiratory therapist deals with PEEP and a registered nurse deal with poop. You'll learn what PEEP is when you're in school. And well, basically, respiratory therapists just do the pulmonary side of the patient care and the nurses do the rest. So yeah, that's really it. Number cuatro. Is this a growing profession? Is there a lot of job openings? Oh my God, there's always job openings for respiratory just because we don't just do hospital. We also do home care. We do physician offices. Um, we do diagnostic testing. A lot of companies like oxygen companies or um, oxygen places hire respiratory therapists to deliver oxygen. A lot of, you can also do like sales, like CPAPs or nebulizers, uh, BiPAPs. Like you can sell respiratory equipment. And I don't know, there's just a lot of job openings. If you ever go to Indeed and put respiratory therapists, it's like counting and which is good because there's always job security which is even better number i think this is five um what does a respiratory therapist do well technically we assess treat and care for patients with pulmonary diseases like cystic fibrosis asthma emphysema copd um that's basically our job what is one of the biggest challenges for your job um getting the respect my biggest challenge in getting the respect as a respiratory therapist because i got a degree to do what i was doing and a lot of times they'll call us respiratory techs ekg techs just i don't know it's just the lack of respect that we have as professionals and it just sucks that's just the biggest challenge that i have to deal with to be honest with you um question number i think this is six I don't know. Niña, quit messing with my halo light. Um, what would I tell somebody who's entering this profession? Shadow. Shadow a respiratory therapist, but don't shadow somebody that's doing a floor floors. Go for the ICU. That's where you're gonna see a ton of stuff. That's when you're gonna know this is what you're gonna want to do. Um, I really do love respiratory therapy. I'm able to help patients and I don't have to clean up their poop, which is even better for me. And I just really like helping people. So if you really like helping people and don't like to deal with capita, 
yeah, go for it, guys. Question number siete. What do you recommend? What do you recommend while in school? Oh, I recommend really getting your time managing skills a one and getting a planner. Whenever I was in school, I did. I wrote. I wrote. I wrote everything on my planner, which helped me stay like at a like steady schedule and I got a lot of my stuff done. That's why whenever it was time to get my credentials, I didn't really study and I passed. So question numero ocho. What do you what do you recommend to study for your board exams? So for my board exams, when I did my CR CRT to RRT, I had just graduated school like two weeks prior, I believe. And we had piercings, piercings, and I just kind of, they have a test in the back of the book, and I just did that. And then I took my test, and I passed the RRT level, and how I studied for my s clinical simulations, I didn't. I just went, and I got it done, and I passed. So that is it for my Q&A video. Hopefully this was informative. And I will be doing a tips for respiratory school because I did a lot of good tips when I was in school and I did really well and I was able to pass my board exams. So that would be my next video. If y'all have any other recommendations for me to do for respiratory, y'all comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. It might not have been as informative as I wanted it to be, but I didn't want for it to be super long. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, guys. Don't forget. And comment down below any other respiratory videos that y'all are interested to see. And I will get that out for y'all. Thank you.